The outpouring of support for people who lost everything in the Marshall Fire just keeps coming. One Louisville local says he had to do something, and he used his own talents to start a fundraiser for the victims. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon explains. It was just a beautiful neighborhood. Flowers at the front. You know, this was kind of like an extension of my house. From people who care about what's left of a neighborhood. That was glass. Where families only have memories. This is the garage. And above the garage was my daughter's bed. These are the Collins. But there's nothing that survived. Who got out in the nick of time. All I could see out my window was smoke and hear wind and sirens, and it was just horrific for me. But looking around. Two kids in this home. There were three kids in that home. Three kids in that home. Two kids in this home. Everything they knew now feels like a nightmare. I have dreams of this now. I don't, I can't, I can't get away from it in my sleep. I can't get away from it in my waking hours. Something they can't escape. We're learning as, and part of all of this is that you have to clear your mind and there is a life beyond the dream. And maybe that starts with the people who are there to help. It's going to be a long haul to become whole again, if that's even possible. Committed and creative people who are really coming out to support you and um, we're here for the long run. Stephen Ross, a musician who dabbles in graphic design. And uh, just launched the website a couple days ago, and it's going really well. LouisvilleLoveCo.com. Selling shirts and hoodies, with the money going to the Boulder County Wildfire Fund. The tiniest drop in this massive bucket of need, um, but it's what, it's what I can do, it's what we can do. Thinking of those like the Collins. I think it's caused me to want to get back to a place where I can give again where I can contribute again, because I don't feel like I'm able to contribute anything right now. I don't have anything. One of so many families grateful for the strangers stepping in. In Louisville, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.